Question 56. Consider a single issue processor with an in order five stage pipeline and with the following characteristics. One, the register file can be written and then read in the same cycle. Two, the pipeline does not have other bypassing or forwarding hardware. And three, instructions including loads and stores spend only one cycle in the MEM stage. Okay, so when it says, when it says first one, the register file can be written and then read in the same cycle, what does that mean? That means the write back can take place at the same time as the uh, ID stage. Because that's where the this is where the reads take place. So that's basically what you got to know. So now let's take a look at what happens here. In the uh, refer to your document there, but first thing that happens is it loads the the uh, register that's in T1 and puts that into T0. So here, this right back here, that's going to be T0. It's writing back the register T0. <clears throat> uh, and then in 2, we have a an add. And we're going to add T2 and T0 together to get T2. But T0 but T, uh, hasn't been written yet. So let's write out what's going to happen here. The add instruction kicks off. And then it has the ID stage here. But what does it need to do? It needs to stall twice so that uh, I'll just put a stall here, stall and stall so that the, the, the read and the write back take place in the same uh, stage here, same clock cycle. So that's going to happen there. So that's so then the IFD. Then after that, it can go ahead and go through the rest of its operations. So let's go ahead and continue out here. All these other things. Six, seven, eight. Okay. So we've got stalls here. That's two stalls so far. Now, when the, the next load word takes place, and let's do that one in purple here, that's going to start off here. But of course, your stalls are going to have to go all the way down, right? Let's go ahead and... and you're stalled, you're stalled. So now we have um, this instruction sequence here is stalling. And we're going to go get an ID, then an execute, and then a write back. Okay. Now, what's happening in the second load? The second load is pulling uh, the, the uh, uh, what do they call it, the displaced uh, item into, into T0. But basically the, po the point of this one is that you're still, this is still going to write back T0. This is going to write back T0 also. So what's happening is there's going to have to be a stall on the next, the next one there. Um, now this next operation here, let's make it in blue. So this add operation here is going to uh, go ahead and continue here. Uh, and this this add operation, the first add operation, it doesn't matter because it's not using any uh, change information. It's just using T1, so it doesn't. It's not affected by T0. So we're okay on that one. The next one is, we are going to have an issue, we have IF, and this, this second add requires the information from T1. So what are we going to have to do? Stall again. And then this one can continue.
and the last um, operation to subtract, that's not going to be affected because by the time it gets all the way out there, let's go ahead and do this one. We have IF and ID. By that time, the right back has taken place, so we don't need to stall. So it's EX um, and right back. So the so you can kind of see that there's going to be three places where we need to stall, and it's because of this T0. Um, and we can, we, can we, it works because we can do the right back and the um, ID stage in the same uh, in the same clock cycle. So hopefully that's helpful to, for you to see that the answer to uh, 56 is D. Three stalls.